afternoon, almost evening, not really sure what time it is. It's been a long day and I am ready to take my lashes off, I'm gonna take my makeup off, and this cup of coffee after the video is probably gonna turn into a glass of wine. So one thing I wanted to show you guys is how to remove red aspen lashes because they are, as you know, reusable, they're good for multiple uses, and you want to remove them without just ripping them off your eyes. Um, you want to store them back inside the box that they came in, or if you have one of these bad boys, this is the Lash Book. You can get these empty, or you can get them pre-filled. So it depends on um, what you're looking for. If there are some lashes that you want in particular, you can get an empty box to store your lashes in, or you can get um, one that already comes filled with three different styles of lashes. But this is where I store my lashes, but that's totally being extra, as we know that I am. Um, if you don't have a lash book, like I said, the best place to store them is inside your little box. You want to keep that, or at least the little plastic trays, so that you have a place for your lash to go when you're ready to remove them and put them away. So, all you need is a Q-tip and oil-free makeup remover. You can use any kind of oil-free makeup remover. I prefer micellar water. Micellar, micellar, I don't know. Um, <laughs> regardless of how you pronounce it, maybe somebody tell me in the comments. Um, that is the best thing for me personally, but any oil-free makeup remover will do. So I have soaked a few Q-tips. Um, it depends on how long I've been wearing the lash for the day and how much glue I used, how many Q-tips I'm gonna need, but usually a few does the trick. So, in my mirror, which is very handy right now, I am going to roll the Q-tip with my makeup remover just right along the lash line. And it's already starting to loosen up the glue. And you see it is almost completely off. I can honestly just pull it off right now. But like I said, you really don't want to like grab them and yank them off. Even though you totally could, you want to get as many wears out of your lashes as possible. Okay, so now it's still attached like a little bit. So I'm going to grab a fresh Q-tip that I've already dipped in my oil-free makeup remover and see how it just slides right off. So then I can store that inside of my lash box. If you have any glue, you can just gently remove it before you store it and then you're good to go. So it's literally that easy. What happened? I took my eyelashes off. What James happened? is like, what happened to your face? I'm a tired mama. But yeah, so it's super easy to just run a little makeup remover along the band. Here we can get like up close and personal. So you can see how easy it comes loose without like taking the strip and just yanking it off, you know? So, there we go. Oh, that's a good look. I had a little, I had a little mascara on my, my lower lashes. So let's just go in there and take that off, huh? Anyway, that is how you remove your red aspen lashes and you can store them back in the box or inside your lash book. Thanks for watching. Bye.